Hi, and welcome to the channel. This is a collaboration all about why we like homesteading in Missouri. And I want to thank the Niels Homestead for inviting us. There's about 12 other channels in this collaboration, so definitely please go check them out. So I live in Imperial, Missouri, which is part of Jefferson County. And the reason I like living here the most is all of my families here. I was pretty much born and raised here as well as my husband, and we have four kids. My husband's son, his oldest son, lives in Springfield, Missouri, though, which is about four hours away from us. So unfortunately, he's not real close, but everything else is local to us. Um, we are about 25 minutes from downtown St. Louis, and downtown St. Louis is really great. It has the arch. It has all of our stadiums. We are part of the St. Louis Cardinals, the St. Louis Blues hockey, and the Cardinals now have the Ballpark Village, which is really awesome. That's shops and some places to hang out, bars, things like that for your um, kids and families. That's really neat. And then we have Union Station. Union Station is where the old trains used to come and go. There's some restaurants down there. I like Union Station. It has a special place to me because I got engaged there. So we go down there every once in a while and we enjoy Landry's Restaurant, which is a fish place. So that's where we got engaged. And there's a little pond that you can paddle boat down there. We have pretty close to there is um, a park called Forest Park, which is pretty huge. Forest Park has the boathouse. So you can go and have a meal and look out at the boats. The boats are paddle boats as well. And you can paddle boat up alongside of like part of Forest Park. So you get about an hour. You can, you're allowed to go through and it goes alongside like Art Hill. Art Hill is where our um, art museum is. That's a pretty cool place as well. We have a history museum. We have the zoo. The zoo is absolutely amazing, and it is a free zoo. So we have the puffins exhibits and the new polar bear exhibits. There's always something really cool going on at the zoo. And again, it's free. So Missouri has a lot of free things to do. We also have what is um, was part of Forest Park. 1904 World's Fair was held there, and those pavilions are actually still around most of them and they were moved to another park called tower grove park so that's kind of cool to have a piece of history from that far back and speaking of the 1904 world's fair the waffle cone was developed here in st louis and i did not know that for ice cream another fact i didn't know that seven up was invented in missouri and speaking of some other things that are known to missouri and not other states is well kansas city which is kind of on the border of kansas and missouri and they're known for their barbecue so that's about five and a half hours from us and that's a really awesome place to go visit as well they um have the st louis uh, royals yeah royals <laughs> baseball team so they have that and then we have emos which is st louis style pizza and that is some awesome pizza. Sorry, guys, I'm reading off my notes. Um, that is made with Provel cheese. And Emo's also has toaster ravioli. Toaster ravioli is veal, and it's put inside of a ravioli. It's breaded and fried. I mean, come on. <laughs> and then uh, gooey butter cake is a favorite of Missouri, so that's really yummy. And let's see. We are part of Route 66, Route 66, which travels through Chicago to Los Angeles. And let's see, what else do I have for you? Oh, homeschooling is pretty lapsed here. You only have to have 1,000 hours. So the homeschooling families um, like that, that there aren't many rules, regulations. You don't have to have tests or anything. I'm not homeschooling right now, but hope to do that soon here in the future with my youngest son but we still have a few years to go for him um and then 
The other great thing about Missouri, for one, the weather is pretty cool. As you can see, it's about 38 out, but it's really sunny and it's really nice. And it's going to be about 60 tomorrow. The next day, it might rain. It might have an ice storm. You might have six inches of snow. You just don't know what you're going to get here. But for people planting, which I don't have a garden. Um, I don't know if you know much about my channel, but I'm a new homesteader. So this is all things I'm building up, but you can have longer periods to get to grow things, which is cool. So we have actual four full seasons most of the time. Um, so that helps when you're homesteading for gardening, for sure. We are very central located to a lot of different things. You can pretty much get anywhere in Missouri, like six hours away and have lots of things to do. Um, you can go, like I said, my stepson lives in Springfield, which is about four hours away. So they have a really huge Bass Pro Shop, and they just built a really awesome aquarium in there, and that's like a really great aquarium. My older two kids got to go there, and they loved it. So that's new. That just opened, uh, I think, January. So definitely check that out. And if you're in that area, you've got Branson. You've got... Lambert's home of the throw rolls where they um, they used to throw rolls at you. I don't think they are allowed to anymore, but that was a pretty cool uh, restaurant. <clears throat> and then you have the lake. The lake is a huge lake, and there's lots of shops and restaurants, blah, blah, blah. And then you have lots of historic little towns. Like I posted a video the other day about historic Kemswick. Um, that's one of my favorites, and it's just five, ten minutes down the road from me. So, and that's in the county I live in, and that's historic Kimswick that has bed and breakfast. There's like a little garden in. There are shops and restaurants, so that's a really cool place. I get my local spices down there. My favorite restaurant is down there. It's the Doe Depot, and I get pickle pizza. Yes, pickle pizza. It's awesome. And um, I get my Amish honey from there at the Doe Depot, so that's a really cool place to check out. We have historic um, St. Charles, which is about the same. It's just about 40 minutes from us, and there is shopping and restaurants and hotels and things like that. So a lot of these places are really fun just to go for the day. So we have all of that. We also have like a wolf sanctuary. We have a bird sanctuary. We have Lonell Park where you can drive through the park, and the elk will come like right up to your car. Um, we have Powder Valley, which is a conservation reserve type place so you can go and there's an inside and an outside with some trails uh let's see yeah that's all i can really think of oh and of course the arch i think i mentioned that and just lots of things to do um the county i live in is very lapsed so that's really nice to not have so many rules out here taxes aren't very expensive good weather and the best part is my family's here. So that's what I like about Missouri. I hope you guys come and visit. If you have ever been here and there's certain places that you liked to visit, please message me or put it down below so others can see that as well. Because, again, there is so much to do. It's really hard to hit everything. But I hope you guys come here. I hope you check out all the other channels. And, again, thanks to Neil's Homestead for inviting us. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.